All right, so in this problem, we're told that uh, a 63.8 milliliter container is filled with 0 0.103 grams of an unknown gas, and the container has a pressure of 747 millimeters of mercury at 22 degrees Celsius. And so then they ask us, is the gas nitrogen, neon, or argon? Now, the majority of the equations that we have related to gases don't depend on the identity of the gas. That's sort of the whole point of the ideal gas law. All the gases behave the same. Now there is one exception to that. We derived an equation relating the molar mass of a gas to its density. And that was that molar mass is equal to the density times RT over the pressure. And so what we're going to do to solve this problem is we're going to calculate the molar mass and then compare that to the molar masses that we know for nitrogen, neon, and argon. All right, so now let's look at what we need in order to do this. So I need to find the density. Uh, so the density is, we know density is the mass over the volume. Uh, and I have the mass and the volume of the gas. Uh, we need the temperature, which I have, and we need the pressure. Now, the only thing that I need to be careful of is whenever I use the gas constant R, I have to be careful on the units. So R is liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin. So I need to be sure that my pressure is in atmospheres, my temperature is in Kelvin, and my volume is in liters. So I need to do those unit conversions first. So let's do the volume first. So I've got 63.8 milliliters, 1 ml, 10 to the minus 3 liters. So my volume comes out to be 0 0.0638 liters. Uh, for the pressure, I have 747 millimeters of mercury. And I know there are 760 millimeters of mercury in one atmosphere. And so my pressure comes out to be 0 0.983 atmospheres. And then for temperature, to go from Celsius to Kelvin, I need to add 273. Uh, now to the correct numbers of the figures, that's gonna be 295 Kelvin. All right, and then the other thing that I can do is uh, I need the density, and due to R, I need my volume to be in liters, which I've already found, so my density is 103 grams, that's the mass, divided by the volume, and so my density is going to be 1.61 grams per liter. All right. And now we're ready to plug things into our molar mass equation. And I'll do that on the next slide. So the equation we need to solve is molar mass, density RT over P. And I have the values that we calculated on the previous slide on the left in red. So molar mass is the density in 1.61 and that's grams per liter. So I'm gonna put the liter down in the denominator. And then I have R. And that's liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin. So I need to put the moles times Kelvin in the denominator. I need to multiply by T, so times 295 Kelvin. And then finally I need to divide by the pressure. So 0 0.983 atmospheres. So let's check our units now. I have liters in the denominator and the numerator, they'll cancel. I've got atmospheres in the denominator and the numerator, and I've got Kelvin in the denominator and the numerator. So I'm left with units of grams over moles, which is good because that is the units for molar mass. So now when I punch that into my calculator, I get a molar mass equal to 
19.6 grams per mole. And so now I would compare that to the molar masses for my three gases. So nitrogen, that's 2 times 14, that's 28 grams per mole. Neon is about 20 grams per mole. And argon is 40 grams per mole. So, uh, I, whichever one is closest to, so it looks like my unknown gas is neon.